George in Melbourne, Australia writes to me, Paul, first, I would like to thank you for your time and your videos that you post. My pleasure, sir. My knowledge of stereo sound, equipment, and more importantly, why we hear what we do has improved markedly after watching them. My question is, does the volume of sound impact on the sound stage in the listening room? I have a small lounge room full of stuff, <laughs> I love it, and limited with speaker placement. If a sound designer looked at my setup, they'd be horrified. I did listen to you and most of my budget went into buying a very good set of speakers. The right speaker is impeded a little by furniture and there is a cabinet in between the speakers. I don't have the front of the speakers forward of the cabinet. For some reason, at low to medium volumes, I have a great sound stage, both separation and depth. At louder volumes, though, it's not so good. Your opinion on why would be greatly appreciated. Well, there's a lot to unpack there. So first off, volume has a dramatic effect on sound stage image size in particular. I've been a big advocate for the longest time of every track, every room, every situation has a perfect volume and you can only know it by listening. So what I do is I focus on the size of the instruments. Now you know what the size of a human voice should be. If it's too big, if it's too small, you know the sound the size of a violin, of a piano. And it's not that hard if you make yourself aware that this is a thing, and it is a thing, <laughs> you can control it with volume. Volume has all kinds of effects from bass to, you know, Fletcher Munson curve. There's all sorts of things that volume controls, but in particular, to the subject, image size and soundstage size. As we turn the level up, the instruments and the soundstage get larger. Now, I can't tell you the appropriate volume because every room's different. It depends on how many people in the room. For instance, I do everything by ear. So I know in our listening lab, if I play track whatever. I Let's say I always play it at volume level 40, okay? And that's for me sitting in the room and listening. If I've got three or four people in the room absorbing sound, when I put that on, it doesn't sound right at 40. I turn it up to 43. I just click it up to, boom, it just locks in place. It's easy for me because I've done it for years, but if you understand this and start listening for it, you'll quickly see it. I hope that makes sense. You just don't want, and I get when we're at trade shows, it drives me bananas because a lot of our sales guys aren't paying that much attention and they'll turn it up, like, yeah, because it's loud and it's great. But the size of the room, it, it could be 30 people in the room, there could be one. And you got to adjust the volume so it's the right image size for that particular circumstance. Okay, your room may be such that you're overloading the room and that is certainly a factor and not being in your room, not seeing it, I, I can't tell. But that may be something. So where I would start is what I just talked about. Image size and volume. Get that right and then see how it all sounds. And if it's still bothering you, you might want to think about a different pair of speakers. Yep. Okay. Thanks. Bye.